everyone! Welcome to another video on a clean house with muddy boots. And today we are doing a nighttime power hour. If you haven't seen a power hour before, it's where you give yourself a full hour and you clean for the entire time and you see how much you can get done. You'd be surprised at how much you can get done when you give yourself a time structure like this. I usually use these power hours on days when I'm feeling really unmotivated or when the house is a mess and I just, I can't get interested in cleaning. So I'll give myself a power hour and be like, okay, I'm only gonna devote an hour to cleaning today. I can do that. I can set aside one hour and then we can do something fun. And usually in that hour, I get almost all of the things that I wanted to get done throughout the house. And it just makes me feel so much better afterwards. And then you get to do something fun and it's really only an hour out of your day. So tonight we're doing a nighttime power hour. I did have to divide this up into two segments because at nighttime there are some things that I need to get done before the kids go to bed and then there are some things that I can do afterwards. Just um, things that are, might be more noisier, things that I might actually need to do in their bedrooms before they go to sleep. So I'm getting uh, through that stuff first and then later on in the evening I will do the second half of the power hour. And then once I'm all done, I think I'm going to relax and catch up on some reality TV. Um, I think I actually end up watching and catching up on 90 Day Fiance. If anyone else is <laughs> interested in that show, I'm addicted and there are so many different variations that they have now on TLC. It's crazy. So I'm starting the evening off in the bathroom. The kids had a bath, so I'm just cleaning up the bathtub here, um, wiping down the sink and the countertops, and then I will also go and scrub the toilet like I'm doing right now. This is just a quick once over, just to keep it somewhat um, clean and tidy in between my more deep clean schedules.
I'm now moving on into throwing in a load of laundry. This obviously won't be done in time of the power hour because our washing machine alone takes about uh, 50 minutes and then our dryer takes another half hour to 45 minutes. Um, but I like to put in washing in the washing machine before the kids go to bed because sometimes our spin cycle sounds like a train is running through the house. I know that our machine needs to be leveled, but it's a huge process to level the washing machine and it's just not something we've got around to doing. So I just like to do it before the kids go to bed because I know the kids can sleep through the dryer, but sometimes when the washing machine um, has an extra heavy load or with certain items in it, it just, it gets really loud. So anything to keep the kiddos asleep. I know no one likes having them wake up in the middle of the night because sometimes it's really hard to get them back to sleep. Um, once I'm done putting the laundry in, I did have two loads of laundry to fold. So I'm just going to quickly fold those here, put them away, and then I'm going to move into tidying up our oldest two boys' room. So usually my eight-year-old and my three-year-old are in charge of cleaning up their own room, but my 15-month-old actually is the one that made this mess. He came in and just started emptying out all the Duplo. So I thought that I could just come in here and just clean that up a bit. Plus, I, I like coming in and helping them clean their room sometimes just so that they know that the house in general is everyone helps out everywhere. So it's not so much that they always have to be the ones that clean their room. Like, we have to help out throughout the entire house. So I just wanted to come in there and finish that up. And then now I'm moving on into the living room. For the most part, our living room doesn't get too bad. I mean, our couch is definitely well loved. It gets used multiple times a day. And our dog loves to take out all of her toys and just kind of throw them all over the living room. She hasn't quite learned the command of putting her toys away. But I mean, she's not even a year yet, so she's still a puppy. And the kids usually make a much bigger mess than she does.
if you have seen my past videos and you usually have seen our dining room table just covered in a ton of stuff but so this is actually pretty good that it doesn't have that much stuff on it um, and it's mainly because we have been having a lot of game nights lately um, so we've been keeping it clear just so that everyone can sit around this table um, to play some games and with that, uh, my son loves to lean his chair back. So we've been getting more black marks on the wall, which is why I'm here with a magic eraser to get those off. One day he is just going to fall straight back. I mean, I know I did that as a kid and I know a couple of people in classes when I was in school did that. And I feel like no matter how many times we tell him not to push his chair back, he just still does it. And I guess that's parenting in a nutshell where we try to teach our kids about experiences that we've had growing up and whether or not they choose to listen is up to them. I'm now ending the power hour in our kitchen where I'm just cleaning up some dishes that didn't quite make it into the dishwasher or that you're not supposed to put in the dishwasher. And then I'm going to sweep and mop the kitchen. One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you look like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you Yeah, got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again I have a love-hate relationship with water bottles. I mean, they are definitely the more environmentally friendly option, but they are a pain in the butt to clean. <laughs> just having to get like a special cleaning spongy wand just to get into the very bottom of a water bottle because my hands do not fit. <laughs> um, and then being able to get that like straw cleaner and cleaning out all the straws is just, it's not something that I look forward to doing. But the alternative is something that I like even less. So that's my problem. I think the saying is everyone wants things good, fast, and cheap. But you can only ever pick two out of the three. You can never have all three. And I'm not even sure if that applies to this situation. But I 
tend to look at that and apply that to various aspects of my life. Um, but I guess I mean more in just finding more environmentally friendly ways throughout the home. A lot of times it's good, but you can't necessarily find it cheap or it's good and cheap, but you can't really get it done fast, that type of thing. I also, in a couple minutes, will be cleaning out our kids' lunch containers. Um, my kids haven't actually started school yet. They don't start till the first week of September. But because my youngest will be going into his first year of school, we have started doing like practice lunches just to get him into that routine. So that does mean that I have lunch containers to clean at night. Um, so I'm just doing that right now. You'll notice in a minute our dog giving the cue that she needs to go outside to do her little business. Um, and the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because it's nighttime now as it's pitch black outside. My husband is going out with her because ever since Canada Day, which is July 1st for anyone that doesn't live in Canada, um, our dog has been terrified to go out at night. She's getting better. Um, it's not as bad as what it was. But I think it's because on Canada Day, we usually light fireworks and we, us personally, were not lighting fireworks, but our backyard neighbors did. And I think when she was just out there, she maybe didn't realize that's what they were doing and they set one off and it just freaked her out. And so for maybe a week after, she just would not go outside at night and she did have a couple accidents in the house. So my husband's been going out with her. Um, to try to like help with that and it, it has been helping and she has been getting better but my husband still needs to go out with her at night to make sure that she does her business before uh, going to sleep at night. I don't know if anyone else has an issue with their dogs. I know it's a notorious thing. Dogs are scared of fireworks but she was doing so well for so long and then all of a sudden on Canada Day maybe it was just too close to where she was. It just freaked her out but I'm hoping that we can get back to where we were uh, and not have this be something that sticks around. But that will bring us to the end of this video. The power hour is now coming down to a close. I'm just going to finish up sweeping the kitchen and then mopping and then we'll be done. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I was able to motivate you to maybe do a power hour within your home. I mean, they're really great for when you're just not motivated and you just need some type of... I'm a very competitive person. I like having like that competitiveness to, to this. So... To give me an hour to be like, I'm going to see if I can get everything done off my list in this hour is just, it's something that will make me get up and try it. So if you're anything like me, maybe it'll work for you. Let me know down in the comments if it's something that you want to try. And if you haven't yet, I invite you to like this video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. I put out videos just like this, cleaning motivation as well as decluttering and organization and how to's. Thank you so much for joining me today, and until next time, bye!